All right, you're still watching Ways World Standards Day is marked every year on the 14th of October to raise awareness about the importance of using standardized measurements, technologies, and industries. And this day, also known as International Standards Day, thrives to educate consumers, policymakers, and businesses about the value of standardization. And the day is also used to commemorate the achievements of scientists for developing voluntary universal standards that can be used for various measurements, like the Yoruba people say <laughs> in Ibado, maybe. Is it a measurement? But is that Yoruba right? or is that um, Calaba? No, I think. Mayo. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, Calaba. I thought it was from Ibadan. You know, I hear them say that. Yeah, maybe. Sampion, measurement. Okay. <laughs> but hey, I, I mean, this is a very important day for those people that don't like to be cheated. You know, everything has to be measured yeah. accurately. And, you know, the beautiful thing about technology is sometimes when I look back, I just keep wondering, how would we have been able to survive without certain kinds of things in place, right? Mm. I mean, today I've been back to back on the phone with a few of my people trying to do finishing touches for the projects that I'm doing. So basically, so I, have my, I have my measuring tape, right? Mm. Yes, because we're doing the meeting on WhatsApp and all of that. So I'm having my measuring tape. We're doing a WhatsApp video call. I'm saying, okay, measure this place. This is the dimension, just mm. to be sure that Everything at least we're getting is... it accurately, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I can now imagine if there was nothing like this, how would I have been able to cope? They would Business. have had to come. Absolutely. And then the and time spent. Time lost, money community. lost, so yeah. many things lost. So, yeah. Technology is actually a great thing, oh, honestly. Of course, it has Technology taken us, great. you know, further into Absolutely. the future. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so, Manny, what did you find for us in what the news? What did I find in the news? Why didn't I look for it before? <laughs> okay, so, um, Ogun man kills wife and burns corpse with iron. A 40-year-old woman, Folashade Badejo, has been allegedly killed by her husband, Oluranti Badejo, at their home in Moe, Ogun State. Punch Metro learned that Folashade, a fashion designer on Wednesday, got into an argument with her husband over the payment of their three children's school fees. The argument was said to have degenerated into fisticuffs as 51-year-old Oluranti allegedly smashed Folashade's head against the wall of the apartment. She was said to have fallen. Their eight-year-old daughter, Jumoke, reported reportedly said her father abandoned her mother on the floor as she reeled in pain. The victim was said to have died. The suspect was alleged to have subsequently burnt her corpse with a hot iron. Folashade's younger brother, Lekon Yusuf, said that on getting to their house on Wednesday morning, he saw his sister's body and it had been burnt with an electric iron and the and blood was still oozing out of her nostrils and ears. He stated that he lived with the couple for three months and noticed that they quarreled every day and no day went by without his sister being beaten by her mm. husband. And the fights were mainly over money matters. Hmm. He stated that the husband even beat her while she was asleep. Wow. <sighs> you know, when I see stories like this, and you see, there's another one I wanted to add, but I was like, no, there's no need to just be dishing out bad news. There was another one that happened yesterday I mean, news where a uh, husband and wife got into a serious fight and burnt down the house and someone got burnt to death mm. inside the house. For me, it's what we always say about situations like this. Why do you stay after, you, you know, these things have happened continuously over time? So I, I feel so sorry for her because I can ask that question, but I also know the answer to mm. the question. You know, I know why they stay. I know why women stay. Mm. So I just think that um, we should raise our daughters better because one thing that I know that is important is self-love. When you totally love yourself, there's some things you, some things you can't take. Yeah. Not because you are too pr proud or, you know, whatever. You just cannot tolerate you know, them. You know what you just said now, and, and it's, it's getting to me as I go older and older yes. every day. Honestly speaking, You're now I have yourself. zero tolerance. Thank you. So if I, if, I, if I notice that I have to do more, yeah. right, to be respected or to be treated with respect or dignity or something, then it's not worth it. Honestly yeah. speaking, no matter how much 
it is that I love the person or whatever, I will just stay back. Because love even when, has no, you don't even get my point. Sometimes people just say, Oh no, I, I, but I, I love yeah, him, you know, and all of and you you get you'll be treated like you are nothing, right? So you must prioritize yourself, and that's yes. where I've got into in this my life. Yeah. I have so prioritized myself that there is absolutely nobody that is indispensable. Nobody. Yes. You know, I just choose me first. Thank you. And if I feel like you are disrespecting me or you're not treating me right, I'll put you aside. I don't need to be in your space. No, I don't I'm have to. I'm not a tree. No, I don't I can have move. to. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so that's, I mean, if people just learned that and start to yeah. be a lot more conscious, and this goes both ways, whether you're a man or a woman, mm -hmm. if somebody is not giving you, you're giving respect to the person, you're and you're not the getting, person, and you're not getting it, back. it back in return. So what's the use? By all means, please step you aside. Know? And then when I think about this, you know what else is very, very bad? The fact that the children watch their dad beat the mother and killed her. That is another programming that would happen, another circle. Thank you. So that's something it's else. Something it has that come down and is affecting the children. It's going Absolutely. to affect the children. Absolutely. So I think we should do better. Honestly. So I want mm. to take my story, um, but I also quickly want to take Elsie's story as well, because it's really important that we okay. talk about her story. Okay. Um, first of all, my story, you know, we had talked about uh, one of the uh, major ge generals that had said that uh, the NSAS were, um, incidents, that it was photoshopped. You know, yesterday, I took a story yesterday that he, he made the Peter Obi's list of, um, what's it called, his, his list, like his team of mm. people in his list. Oh. So the Labour Party candidate, Peter Obi, has admitted that there were some erroneous entries into his presidential campaign and council, right? And that list, that particular list, mm -hmm. and this is said that uh, he also promised to review and update the list because people were questioning that why would you put someone that said, you know, because NSAS to the youth is very personal, that somebody that said NSAS, the incidents that happened in NSAS were photoshopped. Also. Why that would that person make your campaign team, you. um, list as a presidential candidate the youth I believe in that you stand for, you know, fairness, justice, and all of that. So Why I'm happy that he has responded. Yeah. And he said this via his um, Twitter handle, you know, that he would um, check it. And, of course, he's committed to transparency and accountability. I like that. Yeah. that that's actually a very, Absolutely. very good leader. Absolutely. So let me quickly take Elsie's story because I really mm. love the story. I saw it yesterday. Mm. But I don't know. For some reason, it skipped me. So the mm. new ranking for World University Ranking 2023 is out. And, you know, contrary to what people feel like, oh, all our federal universities are, you know, below par and all of that, the story says that Unilag and the University of Ibadan no actually ways. tied first place. They are ranked, you know, um, they are ranked between the 401 and 500, because um, um, it is out of 800 globally. They are 401 and 500. Unilag and... Um, Unilag and um, what's it UI. called? UI. Sorry, it's the top top universe. The total, sorry, out of a thousand seven hundred and let me find that number again. A thousand seven hundred ninety nine universities across the world. So they are between five hundred and four hundred and five hundred and one. Mm -hmm. Now this ranking was done across one hundred and four countries and region, and um, the citation. Uh, 121 million citations across more than 15.5 million research publications, right? That was what was analyzed for this to come out. It also included about 40,000 responses from scholars globally. So this is not just, you know, a ranking that just happened like that. It's mm -hmm. a world ranking. And University of Ibadan and University of Lagos tied first place. They shared the same spot in Nigeria. Then... Convenant University, a private university, is the third best in the country. It was ranked between 601 and 800 globally. So there's a table for it. After Convenant, okay, we so have, um, sorry, Bayero University, Kano. Yeah. We have Federal University of Technology, Akure. We have University of Benin, really? number six. University of Unsuka, mm -hmm. seven. Obafemi Awolowo University, eight. Federal University of Agriculture, um, Abia Okuta, and Ladoke, Akintola University, that's Lautech Nine. of technology. So that ten. is number 10. So, I mean, this for me just really warmed my heart that despite all the things that we say, and this is what we say that most of our graduates, when they leave this country, they do exceptionally well because for some reason, we've just gotten it right. Even though mm. we do not have the luxury of, you know, not, um, not having to not go through strikes, but if you talk about the quality of the graduates that we are churning out, 
in all the hardness of the study and everything, cramming and everything, we still top, you know, we still top um, places um, when, we, when we leave the shores yeah. of this country. But you want to say something? Yes, but you said globally, 500. Yes, and so four. yes, we, so globally, Unilag is between mm. the rank of, so there's a range, mm. it's between 400 and, and 500, 500, yeah, 401 and 500 yeah, globally. Well, that's kind of low. Well, let's just, uh, let's celebrate it. Let's celebrate the little yeah, ways that we have. Yeah, I just think it's, <laughs> let's it's celebrate five, 500, that's 500. Wow. Covenant is Covenant is six hundred and one to eight hundred. That's the range. Wow. Meanwhile, people think that Covenant is better than Unilag. And so that's oh. what the global rating yeah, said. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we thank God that Elsie will talk more about them. it. I think yeah, she has she something comes. she wanted to say. That's why she took this story. But let's take a break. When we come back from the break, I think Elsie will join us and also would have a guest. Stay with us. <laughs>